when you look at poker, it's not as obvious. In a two-player zero-sum version of poker, you could play the GTO minimax policy, and that guarantees that you won't lose to any opponent on Earth. But again, I mentioned it, there's you're not going to beat a weak player. You're not going to make as much money off of them as you could if you instead played an exploitative policy. So there's this question of like, what do you want? Do you want to make as much money as possible, or do you want to guarantee that you're not going to lose to any human alive? What all the bots have decided is like, well, we're, what all the like AI developers in these games have decided is like, well, we're going to choose the minimax policy. And conveniently, that's exactly what self-play converges to. If you have these AIs play against each other, learn from their mistakes, they converge over time to this minimax policy, guaranteed. But once you go outside of two-player zero-sum games, like in the case of diplomacy, that's actually not a useful policy anymore. You don't want to just like have this very defensive policy, and you're going to end up in, with really weird behavior if you start doing the same kind of self-play in things like math. So for example, what does it mean to do self-play in math? You could fall into this trap of like, well, I just want one model to pose really difficult questions and the other model to solve those questions. You know, that's like a two-player zero-sum game. The problem is that like, well, you could just like pose really difficult questions that are not interesting. You know, you could just like get, ask it to do like 30-digit multiplication. It's a very difficult problem for the AI models is that really making progress in the dimension that we want? Like, not really. So self-play outside of these two players here, some games becomes like a much more difficult, nuanced question. So I think, and Tim, Tim kind of like basically said something similar in his talk, that there's a lot of challenges in really deciding what you're optimizing for when you start to talk about self-play outside of two players here, some games. My point is that like, this is where the AlphaGo analogy breaks down. And not necessarily breaks down, but like it's not going to be as easy as self-play was in AlphaGo. 